Hey everyone, I'm Frenzy the Killbot. And I'm Swordfish. And I'm Cletus. And today we are going to start a project that I, and I guess we, have wanted to do for quite a long time. Uh, welcome to Let's Play Halo. Oh yeah, love this intro. Yeah, this one's really good. Um, so Halo was an original like Xbox killer app, which means it came out about 20 years ago, which is a little crazy. So uh, we're actually going to be playing the anniversary version of the game, which was sort of the graphical remaster that came out for its 10 year anniversary. Um, but that's also about 10 years old, so we're actually going to be playing the Halo <laughs> Master Chief Collection. And then for uh, better graphical quality, we're actually going to be playing the Steam version of the Master Chief Collection. Uh, if you want to know how many times one idiot can buy the same game. <laughs> um, but uh, this is... Fanboy alert. Yeah. Uh, this is intended to actually be a pretty big project. I'm, I'm actually planning on playing through most, if not all, of the Halo games. Um, yeah. I'm so excited for this. Yeah, me too. And I'm also sort of gearing this towards people who don't know about Halo, new people to the series, which seems a little weird to us because we've been talking about it and playing it for 20 years, but there's probably lots of people who never really got into it. And I'm going to do this one time for nostalgia purposes. Mm, yes. <laughs> the original loading screen. Hmm. <laughs> Cortana, all I need to know is, did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. <sighs> we made a blind jump. How did they... Get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS-class battle groups. Make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to Combat Alert Alpha. I want everyone at their stations. Everyone, sir? Everyone. And Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Attention, all combat personnel. Please report to your action station. Fifth platoon, secure airlocks on deck 11. Fourteenth platoon, rendezvous with 22nd tactical at Bulkhead Charlie 14. You heard the lady. Move like you got a purpose. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Once again, it is our job to finish what the flyboy started. We are leaving this ship platoon and engaging the Covenant on solid ground. When we meet the enemy, we will rip their skulls from their spines and toss them away laughing! Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! Mm-hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out! Double time! Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging the enemy. External and internal contact imminent. 
All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is gonna be your lucky day. Wow. Sir? Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. He's hot! Blowing the pins in five! This tube shows green. Cycle complete. Sorry for the quick thaw, Master Chief. Things are a little hectic right now. The disorientation should pass quickly. Welcome, Welcome back, back, sir. We'll have, we'll have you battle-ready battle stat. Chief, please look around. Alright, and we finally get control here. Um, I'm getting tingles. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what a burst of nostalgia. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm playing on normal difficulty, which means we have to go through the little calibration tutorial section. Uh, but I actually like that. I find these really well done, the way they sort of integrate them into the levels. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also going to give me an opportunity to talk about some stuff here. Um, we keep saying that this game is 20 years old. Um, but that was a time where games used to actually come with a booklet that had a whole bunch of information about the game in them. So like Halo 1s has information on all the characters, all the weapons, all the enemies, um, a story primer, like a whole ton of stuff. It's actually really impressive. Um, and yeah, what, so a, what a good time. Yeah. I'm actually going to read a sort of a uh, condensed version of the story so far from the booklet here. So... The year is 2552. 32 years ago, contact with the outer colony Harvest was lost. Only one badly damaged ship returned, telling of a seemingly unstoppable alien warship that had effortlessly annihilated their forces. This was humankind's first encounter with a group of aliens they would come to know as the Covenant, a collection of alien races united in their fanatical religious devotion. Covenant religious elders declared humanity an affront to the gods, and the Covenant warrior caste waged a holy war upon humanity with gruesome diligence. On Reach, a secret military project to create cyborg super-soldiers takes on a newfound importance. The soldiers of the Spartan II project have racked up an impressive record against the Covenant in test deployments, but there are too few of them to turn the tide of the war. Existing Spartan II soldiers are recalled to Reach for a mission, Two days before the mission begins, Covenant forces strike Reach and annihilate the colony. The Covenant are now on Earth's doorstep. One ship, the Pillar of Autumn, escapes with the last Spartan II, that's us by the way, and makes a blind jump into deep space, hoping to lead the Covenant away from Earth. So uh, yeah, a lot to take in there. Mm-hmm. Recharging normally. We're showing green across the board. Bridge to Cryo 2, this is Captain Key. Send the Master Chief to the bridge immediately. Captain, we'll have to skip the weapons diagnostics and On the I... double, crewman. Aye, aye, sir. The skipper seems jumpy. We'd better get moving. We'll find you weapons later. Okay, I'll leave the self-diagnostics running at least. Oh god, they're trying to get through the door! Security! Intruders in Cryo 2, please! Sam! Sam! Come on. I don't remember very much of this. <laughs> well, then I'm glad some of this uh, yeah. might take you by surprise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Frenzy, you are playing on inverted, is that right? Is that no. the correct way to play? That Wait, is, what? That is the You're correct PC, way to play right? on the Xbox. Yeah. Uh, on the PC uh, keyboard and mouse. Yeah. I disagree and will defend that to my death. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have thought about this before. Yeah. But we, so, this is also around the time where we fought Dukes versus S, so... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, just right here, we actually see the Covenant for the first time. Um, this is the first race, I guess. Those are elites, and they are that warrior cast that I mentioned. These guys, right here. So, uh, they're pretty formidable fighters. Uh, they have energy shields, they do quite a lot of damage. And the, uh, the other main Covenant race are these guys here, the Grunts. 
and they are sort of cannon fodder to fill out their numbers. They're pretty weak, and they don't really do a whole lot. They're pretty goofy, too, I think. They they're are. Meth addicts. Yeah, they're they... kind of comedy, comic relief. They're also literally addicted to methane, so... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They so are I, oh, sorry, they're ahead. they're weak enemies, but when there's a lot of them, they can still do quite a bit of damage to you. Captain Keys. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant superior battleships against a single Halcyon-class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three... make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. So you did miss me. Report! It must have been one of their boarding parties. I'd guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am! Fire control for the main cannon is offline! Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right, then. I'm initiating cold protocol Article 2. We're abandoning the autumn. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a manner of speaking. The object we found, I'm gonna try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. Protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Good luck, Master Chief. Hmm. Your architecture isn't much different from the Autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. Alright, I just want to take a second here to actually look at Halo. Uh, this giant ring world, uh here. Uh, it's actually in a Lagrange point orbit between the planet Threshold and its moon, Basis. Oh, you've been playing too much Kerbal. No one knows what that means. <laughs> Some people will. Um, <laughs> it, it always strikes me in this game how underwhelmed everyone is about finding this, like, moon scale construction out in the middle of space. We need to get going. No one seems to think it's like wild and crazy. I just realized now how little time I spent looking at the outside of the ring. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like that's the first time I saw it. Uh, the original graphics, it's pretty underwhelming there as well. Mm. Not very detailed. Just a flat gray. So, uh, we're gonna get introduced to the two standard human weapons here. Uh, the assault rifle and the pistol. They did something super weird with the assault rifle and the pistol. Uh, the assault rifle kinda sucks. Uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage, it's inaccurate, so it's not very useful at range. Whereas the pistol basically acts as a rifle. It is the year 2522. Yeah, but then why does their assault <laughs> rifle suck? <laughs> well, it's weird, but you'll just notice it as we go through that their roles don't quite line up with what you would normally expect. 
Yeah, the pistol mm-hmm. is godly. Yes, it yeah. is. We're going to be hanging on to it for quite a while. What the hell? Did something just hit us? Move in. Back, to the Back when you could count the amount of weapons on one hand. Yeah, actually, I was kind of surprised by that when I started doing this. There's like... I think four? I don't know. Human weapons? Eight weapons total? Yeah. I love the Marines too, they're so helpful. Mm. Um, This game also has power-ups, which is a little bit weird for a first-person shooter, at least these days. Uh, So that was the Overshield, which, as the name kind of implies, is just extra shields. Uh, We're also going to show off our first alien weapon here. Uh, This is the Plasma Pistol, and this is normally what grunts carry around. So, at least in my memory, I always think of the Plasma Pistol as one of the worst in the game, but it's actually not that bad. Yeah, the overcharge feature on it? Yeah, so that is one thing it has. Uh, you can charge, you can overcharge it and then uh, fire it at someone, where it does more damage or will completely drop shields. Like this. Oh yeah, baby. And uh, pair that with the pistol, and uh, that is affectionately known as the noob combo. Hell yeah! (laughs) So plasma weapons work a little bit differently than, I guess, human weapons. Uh, You can't reload them. They don't have ammo, but they do have a battery, which you can see in the top left there. Uh, They also overheat. If you fire them for too long, uh, they sort of do that, and then you can't fire it until it cools down. Pop, pop. Noob combo, so satisfying. It really is. I don't think noob combo was as prevalent in like Halo One multiplayer. No, you're right. That sort but of came in in really Halo Two. Really stride Halo Two, yeah. I think the lock-on feature of it was uh, maybe a little bit weaker. Yeah, that's right. And it also disabled vehicles if you hit them. Uh, only in Halo Two and on, I think. Is that? I was wondering. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't Halo work 1? in this one. Uh, We're going to grab the second alien weapon, the Plasma Rifle, and this is normally what the Elites carry. It's pretty similar to the Plasma Pistol, except it's blue instead of green. Uh, It hits a little bit harder and fires faster. This is actually one of my favorite weapons in the game. I'm going to be using this quite a lot. And because in this game, it also slows you or like stuns you slightly. Oh yeah, getting hit with Plasma? Yeah. So this would be incredibly frustrating because you couldn't get around a corner if someone was shooting you with it. Mm. Uh-huh. In multiplayer, you're talking about. In multiplayer, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I don't know if that uh, works on the elites. I think it like it, it looks like it does a little bit, Staggers but I don't think them. it's noticeable in, in normal because they don't move around as much. No, as that's they do true. In, like the higher difficulties. I guess I should point out that most of the human weapons are hit scan, whereas the plasma stuff are projectiles, so you do have to lead your shots. Mm-hmm. Words that I didn't even know back when the game came out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I I don't think we can emphasize how important this was. So like I got the game first, I think, mm-hmm. out of all of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just it was so good that we all got Xboxes. Um I like- and like that sort of set us down the path of just Xboxes, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, you got you got this game in grade 8. So yeah. it was before, like, it was right when we actually met. Not to date ourselves, but... <laughs> yeah. But yes. <laughs> but yes. You are. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, like, that's how long ago. Like, I remember rushing home from school to play this game. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I actually didn't get an Xbox till later. I used to have to come to one of your guys' places. Mm-hmm. All hands, this is the Shadow. Prepare to abandon ship. Combat teams, repel borders and The light pods are launching. We should hurry. The company are destroying the life pods. They really don't want us on that ring. Uh, one other thing, this game does have health kits. 
Uh, again, 20 years old. Uh, I also mentioned that this is a graphical re-release, a remaster. Uh, but they actually did something kind of weird with Halo. They actually just bolted the second graphics engine on top of the existing game. Um, which means the other graphics engine is actually running in parallel right now. And you can switch to it, which we're going to do now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's what I remember. Yeah. Was it really? It was this bad? It was this bad, yeah. Um, it was. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yes. So they actually yeah. did a okay, this, pretty good job yeah. there. Yeah, god damn. Yeah, but the remaster is uh, way nicer to look at. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so funny. Wow. You know, I was like, yeah. Golden eye levels of polygons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and it's even worse. Like, um, Halo was originally it internally rendered at like 320 vertical pixels, um, and so taking those same textures and doing them at 1440 vertical pixels, like, it just does not do it any favors. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I jump in right here and say that you have a flashlight? slowly yep. draining on the you, you're wearing like a fusion powered healing suit yeah and you can't have a flashlight on for more than like two minutes mm -hmm. uh, I, I, that always made me laugh yeah it is funny um one of the things i didn't remember is that this is actually used as the motion tracker um tutorial and uh speaking of tutorials the greatest melee yes. tutorial in all of video games. Mm -hmm. Yes. I want to point out, this is not like a game mechanic. We will never have to bash open doors. Yeah, the one and only. They just wanted to teach you that you can punch. <laughs> yeah, I think melee was pretty rare back in the day. Um, yeah, so when actually I do out. want to talk about that. Um, but it might wait until next video. Okay. Um... The one thing I want to say right now is that Halo was a big deal for a long time. There is a ton of, like, extended universe canon out there from books and other games and short films. Um, we are going to try not to talk too much about that stuff because no one really likes fanboy pedantry. Um, until it may become relevant anyway. Uh, that being said, there is an easter egg here I want to show. Uh, in the graphical re-release, they actually added this. Uh, our character, Master Chief, is not the last Spartan. He's not even the last Spartan on this ship. Uh, Linda058 is, is here somewhere, uh, but she's not doing too good. Hmm. Yeah. So those Covenant right there probably got her? Uh, no. Oh. No, in the book... Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is why I don't want to go too far into it, but it's yeah. something from the books. Um, there is a reason she's here. There's a reason she's hurt. We're going to ignore it for now, but it's a cool Easter yeah. egg. That is cool. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. But there used to be something in there in the original that I think you could grab, like a rocket or something. No, no. It was basically just the mirrored version of the other cryo room. Oh, no, like the room where that Easter egg was? Yeah. It was just a mirrored what? version of the other room. Was it? Yeah. Oh, There's okay. nothing interesting in there normally. I just did the little uh, spin to try and get my aim right. Um, the Xbox version had auto-aim and the PC version does not, and uh, I never realized how much I relied on it. <laughs> what was that called? The ogre maneuver or something like that? Yeah, I Some forget. Ogre twitch? Yeah. From like... Something like that? Very powerful gamers. Professional players. Yeah. yeah. Esports, baby. The yeah. start of them. This, the yeah, start it really was. MLG, wasn't it? Well, yeah. I, I, don't, I think there was uh, Counter Strike competitions. Oh, as yeah, well. yeah, yeah. But Count. I think Halo might have been the first. Yeah. 
I don't know, socially acceptable So esports. there was, um, the, it's actually Quake. Oh, yeah, was that's probably right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there is a frontality. Yeah. Sorry, this is where we finally get to play with grenades. Um, and it's right at the end of the level. The level is, like, just about to end, so we only get this one fun section to use them. Throw them if you got them. There's one last life boat. Quickly, get aboard before it launches. No. Oh, no. Ah! Now would be a very good time to leave. Punch it. Ah, sir. We're disengaged. Going for minimum safe distance. We're gonna make it, aren't we, sir? I don't want to die out here. Look. Thing, Lieutenant. Hell if I know, but we're landing on it. The Autumn! She's been hit! I knew it. The Autumn's accelerating. Keys is going in manual. Heads up, everyone. This is it. We're entering the ring's atmosphere in five. You sure you wouldn't rather take a seat? We'll be fine. If I still had fingers, they'd be crossed. And okay, that's the end of the first mission. I, I so sort of good. I guess I could have mentioned early on, but Master Chief is not a silent protagonist, which was another thing that was super common at the time was that your character just would never say anything. But uh, not silent. No. He does talk, just not very often. He's strong, silent, but when he does talk, it's like a deep, gravelly voice, like, punch it. Yeah, beautiful voice. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. See you next time. So I actually have a little bit of an epilogue for this video, and might be doing it for some later videos as well. Back in the opening cutscene, when Sergeant Johnson gives a rousing speech to his men, that's the character's name by the way, Sergeant Johnson, uh, the speech changes depending on what difficulty you're playing. So I showed normal, and now we're going to show easy, heroic, and then legendary. Men, keep your eyes down range, fingers on your triggers, and we all go home in one piece. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! Mm-hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out! Double time! Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging... Man, here's where we show those split chin squid head sons of bitches that they could not have picked a worse enemy than the human race. We are going to blow the hell out of those dumb bugs until we don't have anything left to shoot them with. And then we are going to strangle them with their own living guts. Am I right, Marine? Sir, yes, sir! Mm-hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out! Double time! Attention all personnel. We are re-engaged. Man, we let those dumb bugs out to the middle of nowhere to keep them from getting their filthy claws on Earth. But we stumbled onto something they're so hot for that they're scrambling over each other to get it. Well, I don't care if it's God's own anti-son of a bitch machine or a giant hula hoop, we're not gonna let them have it. What we will let them have is a belly full of lead and a pool of their own blood to drown in. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! Mm-hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out. Double time. Attention all personnel. We are re-